I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on application of polynomial functions. The question here is a rectangular piece of cardboard measuring 120 centimeter by 80 centimeter is used to create an open top box by cutting out congruent squares from all four corners. Determine the dimensions of the square that must be cut from each corner in order for the volume to equal 38,500 centimeter cube. So let's sketch the scenario. So what we have here is kind of a rectangular box. I'm making small since we are working with a relatively small area. So now here, let's say we cut equal sides from length and width, right? So and let us say the area which we are removing is a square x by x. So both sides it is x, correct? So that is the area which we are removing from the corners. So after removing this, you can turn it up so it becomes an open top box. Dimension of this cardboard is the outer dimensions from here to here it is 120 centimeters and from here to there the width is 80 centimeters. If you remove x and x from each side, then for the box, the base will have width of 80 minus 2x, right? So let me write here 80 minus 2x and the length will be 120 minus 2x, correct? So, so that is what we'll get as a box. Now, volume of this box will be length times width times height. So we can write volume as equal to, uh, we can write x first height and then 120 minus 2x times 80 minus 2x. So that becomes the volume in centimeter cube. Now we need to find the value of x for which the volume is 3800. 38,500, right? So we'll write 38,500 equals to x times 120 minus 2x times 80 minus 2x. Now, important thing to consider here is what could be the value of x? Since the dimensions are always positive, we can see from here that x should be from 0 to 40, right? So x cannot be more than 40, otherwise this quantity will be negative, right? So which you can also calculate by uh, substituting like 80 minus 2x should be greater than 0, right? So that means 80 should be greater than 2x and from here we get x should be less than 80 divided by 2 which is 40, correct? So the value of x cannot be more than 40. As you can see, at the most, you can go midway and make a square kind of like this, right? So that is the boundary condition for x. This is very important for us to look into. Now let's try to figure out what the value of x is. So we'll bring all these terms to one side. Let me expand this first. So what we will do is we'll do x times, multiply them one by one. So let's do 80 times 120, so that is two zeros, 8 times 2, 16, 6 and 1, 9600 minus 120 times 2x is 240x, when multiplied by minus 2x, we get 16, 8 times 2 is 16, 160x and that gives us plus 4x square, right, so that is it, we have 3,800, 500, which we can, 38,500, which we can take on the right side, right? Okay. So we are looking at a cubic equation here when you open this up. And then we'll bring, I mean, let me first write 38,500. We'll later take it, right? So now we'll take it to the right side. Let me open this up. So we have x times 4x squared. I'm trying to write the terms with highest degree first, right? So x times 4x squared is 4x cubed. 
we'll combine these two we'll combine these two right when you combine these two 240 plus 160 you will get uh, 400 right so we'll write minus 400 x times x becomes x square and we have plus 9600 x and we bring minus 38500 correct so now we have a polynomial in degree 5. To factor this, we can try different values of x. All those values should be factor of the constant term here, 38,500, right? So, so you can substitute some values. Uh, we know 2 could be a good value to try, for example. So if I write 2 here, so I get 4 times 2 cube is 8. 4 times 8 is 32. Minus 2 square is... 4, 4 times 400 will be uh, 1600, okay. If I write 2 here, I get, uh, let me do 2 times uh, 9600. Uh, we did not write plus in between, so let me redo this calculation. So we have 4 times 2 cube is 8 minus 400 times uh, 4 plus 9600 times 2 minus 38500 and that gives us a value which is negative 286 uh, not 0 I mean to say let's try another value so now let us try x equals to 5 and see what do we get so we'll put x equals to 5 here so we have let me write down if I write 5 here I get 4 times 5 cube minus 400 times 5 square plus 9600 times 5 minus 38500. So that is uh, 4 times 5 cube, 5 cube minus 400 times 5 square plus 9600 times 5 minus 38,500 and that gives us 0, right? So, so we do get 0 for x equals to 5 and that clearly indicates that 5 is one of the factors, right? So that means one of the solution here is that x could be 5, correct? So now we can actually find the other solutions also. So x equals to 5 gives us the 0. And therefore, we know x minus 5 is a factor, correct? Now, once you know x minus 5 is a factor, you can actually perform long division and find other factors. That's the whole idea, right? Now, the question says, determine the dimensions of the square that must be cut from each corner in order for the volume to equal that much. So, we have at least one solution. And uh, if I write x equals to we can find what length is length will be equals to 120 minus 2x length is 120 minus 2 times 5 and that is equals to 2 times 5 is 10 is 110 right and the width is equals to 80 minus 2 times 5 so 80 minus 2 times 5 is 10 which is 70 so we have uh, one set of dimensions for a rectangular open box whose volume is going to be 38,500. So we have one set of answer and we'll write our answer is x equals to 5 centimeters. The length of that box will be 110 centimeters and width will be 70 centimeters, right? So, so that is definitely one of the answers. The other one we can find by dividing and then factoring the given equation, correct? So uh, your choice is yours. You can do synthetic division or long division. Since we have very small space here, let me continue with synthetic division. Okay. So to perform synthetic division, we'll divide this equation by 5, right? So we have 4x cubed. So I'll write down the the coefficients right and then we'll do the division 4x cubed so we'll get 4 here minus 400 
plus 9600 and then minus 38500 correct so x minus 5 gave us the result so 5 is the number which makes that 0 we'll divide by 5 right so let's perform the synthetic division steps i hope you remember first step is bring down this 4 multiply 5 by 4 we get 20 add them up so get minus 380 and now let's use calculator 5 times 380 with a minus sign will put 1900 so we had minus 1900 and when we add it up that is to say 9600 minus 1900 is equal to 7700 and when we multiply 5 by 7700 we get 38500 right 38500 and when you add this up as expected you get zero remainder right so that clearly gives you a quadratic equation so the quadratic equation is with the coefficients uh, 4 for x square so let me write down this equation now for uh, for this equation as this part as uh, 4 times x square minus 380 x plus 7700 right so that is the equation uh, the quadratic equation and we can find further roots from here so we have this equation times x minus 5 right that x minus 5 now to find the value we can use quadratic formula x equals to minus of 380 plus minus square root of uh, minus 380 whole square minus 4 times ac is 4 and c is uh, 7700 correct square root divided by 2 times 4 correct we could have divided by 4 simplified and then found the answer also that could have been a better approach actually so okay let's use the calculator and find the term within the square root which is this becomes positive right so it is 380 square minus 16 times 7700 so which is 21200 so let's do square root of uh, the answer that is uh, 2053 okay so let's write decimal value of this so we have 380 plus minus 145.6 let us say divided by 8 right so that gives us two values uh, clearly uh, both are valid values so so we can try those values uh, it gives us 380 uh, plus let's say 380 plus 145.6 equals to divided by 8 equals to in decimals uh, 65.7 the other one is 380 minus 145.6 divided by 8 equals to in decimals uh, 29.3 right now as you can see the x cannot be 65.7 as our limit is 40 correct that's the limit right so that is not valid however this is a valid answer 29.3 centimeters right so now x could also be uh, 29.3 centimeters so let me just push this page a bit so option two is x equals to 29.3 centimeters in that case length will be equal to 120 minus 2 times 29.3 and that is equal to let's calculate 120 minus 2 times 29.3 which is in decimals 61.4 and uh, width will be equal to 80 minus 2 times 29.3 so that is 80 minus 2 times 29.3 equals to in decimals 
4 centimeters, right? So that is another set of uh, values which we can get for a volume of 38,500. You get an idea, right? So that is how we can solve such a question. Now here is an additional question for you. Now for the value of x between, I mean, for value of x as 5 and 29.3, we get a volume of 38,500. You need to find the value of x which will give us higher volume than 38,500, right? And provide reason for the same. I hope that should be interesting for you. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.